Sindiswa was 11 when her mother died, leaving her and her then baby brother Fusi to fend for themselves in a Freedom Park Johannesburg shack. Sindiswa and Fusi are two of about 3.7 million orphans in South Africa. About half of them are AIDS orphans. Today, parents are dying before their children are grown up. This means that South Africa is, and increasingly will be, a country populated by a large number of orphans. These two children are the lucky ones. They are amongst the nearly 20,000 who are being supported and nurtured by NOAA, Nurturing Orphans of AIDS for Humanity, which empowers communities to care for their vulnerable children in the South African provinces of Gauteng, KwaZulu-Natal and the Northwest. We are bringing smiles back to little faces and relief to the heavy laden shoulders of many, such as this grandmother caring for two young children since their mother passed away, helped with nutrition rich food from Noah, doing everything we can to help the staggering number of children orphaned by AIDS and many other social ills plaguing pockets of our societies helping them to mature into emotionally and psychologically stable adults. NOAA helps to create community-based organizations, or CBOs, to carry out our mission. These CBOs are not buildings, but synergistic groups of caring community members. Elected community members are mentored and guided by NOAA on a financial, organizational and skills training level based around a satellite office where a feeding program is operated. It could be a shipping container, a school classroom, a community hall or a shack. Eventually, this may become a resource center with daycare and aftercare programs. From each community-based organization, volunteers are mobilized to go house to house to register vulnerable children and deliver services to them. Volunteers continually check up on the children and refer them to the appropriate agency as needed. Sometimes Noah uncovers unbearable suffering. Here little Tabel, abandoned by his mother, orphaned by his father, is at age six the only one looking after his grandfather, smitten with blindness, using guide wires to walk. The highlight of this tragic family's day is the visit of the Noah volunteer. Seven-year-old Sepiso runs home from school. She's lost both her parents, but her grandfather waits for her. He can't work as he's frail from advanced AIDS. A family again cared for by Noah. We are a registered non-profit organization. In the spirit of Ubuntu, caring for one another, we believe that it's better for orphaned and vulnerable children to stay in their own familiar communities rather than institutionalizing them. 16-year-old Mandisa has thrived under this system. Noah offers donors the opportunity to sponsor an individual child. Mandisa's parents have both passed, but with Noah's and her sponsor's help, she is passing her final days at high school and on track for university. Donors can also adopt part or all of a community-based organization, producing a lasting legacy. NOAA's mission is to empower communities with the knowledge, skills, strategies and self-confidence to form and successfully run their own community-based organizations supporting the well-being of vulnerable children. With NOAA mentoring volunteers to teach, to create income through handicrafts, to be self-sufficient with healthy foods, the ultimate aim for any single community-based network is to become a self-sustainable charitable entity in its own right, able to raise funds and operate independently from NOAA. Once any of these networks fledges, that creates a space for NOAA to start a new network elsewhere. With close to 100 community-based organizations acting as nuclei, drawing children in and giving them hope, and stretching out into the communities all around them, NOAA is giving our children a brighter tomorrow. Children like Bikani, 
an orphan who contemplated suicide and was a high school dropout before Noah picked him up. Encouraged by his foster family and Noah staff, Bakani now has his matric, his high school certificate and a bright future. Noah depends on contributions and its 800 volunteers. Often spending time with someone can mean more to them than you could ever imagine. Find out how by volunteering at NOAA. Volunteers at NOAA have made a difference with Sindiswa. Now she has qualifications in financial activities and proudly has a job with a bank. Sindiswa proves that all these children need is just a glimmer of hope. Help us provide that hope and create more communities caring for children. Hope, help, heal, love because today they live in our world. Tomorrow we live in theirs. Yay! There are many ways in which you can get involved with Noah, either by the giving of your time, things or money. Send an email to getinvolved at noahcommunity.org for more information.